Hello guys, and welcome to a new playthrough. This, of course, is Resident Evil Village, Resident Evil 8. And as most of you will know, I played the demo on the channel about a month ago. And a few people asked me when I was going to start the full game, if I was going to do the full game for the channel. And of course, the answer is obviously yes, because I'm doing it right now. So I have played through this a bunch of times. I've got the Platinum Trophy. So I've done the speed run, beat the game on the hardest difficulty, beat the game using only a knife. I'm only telling you this to brag. Um, <laughs> but uh, I thought it'd be nice now after doing all that stuff to get the Platinum to just play through it again and just enjoy it one last time before I don't play it ever again. Well, no, I probably will play it somewhere down the line, but, you know, just a nice relaxing run for the channel. Um, I know I'm doing Resident Evil Zero, obviously, at the same time. I'm not going to stop doing that. I know it means having two Resident Evil games on the go at once, but obviously they're very different Resident Evils, aren't they? So I don't think it's going to be an issue. I mean, why would it be? What are you, the YouTube police? I don't know, maybe you are, but we're going to do it anyway. I don't care. So, yeah, uh, so we're going to start a new game, and obviously I've, um, we're going to play on Standard. So all the weapons I've unlocked and all that, they're not going to be available. We're starting fresh. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence, the bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free from mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled Mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Pat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared, and with a click of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beasts. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. There. She's asleep. What is with the creepy story? She's only six months old. Woman at the store said it was traditional. <laughs> a local tale. Besides, Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it, thank God. We moved here so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. You're just being paranoid. It's not... Never mind. I'm sorry. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then, go cautiously take your daughter to bed. I'll finish dinner. It's okay, Rose. Your mother doesn't want to remember it. I can't blame her. Okay, we're back with 
did you say something? Nothing. I'll put her down. Ethan Winters. Years later from the Baker house incident, we're in Ethan's house, which looks pretty nice. Look at that TV. Should we, should we watch a movie before we go? Go into the bleak survival horror world. Watch a little film. Let's see what's on. Ooh, it's the furry honeypot adventure. What's going on here then? It's quite late at night for something like this to be on, isn't it? This is more of a daytime kid show. Ooh, look, there's two balloons now. Kind of want to see how this plays out, but I guess we probably better move on. I'll come back another day. I'll tape it. <laughs> Ooh, a piano. Let's play Moonlight Sonata. Rose, can you play? Maybe if we let her practice for a while, like we did with Rebecca, she'll pick it up. Uh, I've got some baby paraphernalia. Some bread over there. Ooh, a little bit of the bubbly. Once you're a big girl, we'll have a drink together, all right? Well, what's to stop her having a, a drink right now? Put her out like a light. <laughs> Ooh, got some pictures. What's this? Ooh, holiday. Years ago, I couldn't even imagine something like this would happen. Obviously, as normal, I won't talk. Ju oh, Jesus. There's a uh, Rose. Oh, Mia. Before, before she was famous. Um, yeah, I'm going to not talk during the cutscenes, but obviously, sometimes the characters, I guess, are going to talk at the same time as me because they're rude. Oh, what's in this drawer? CDs. <sighs> Our taste in music's definitely improved over the years. You mean mine has. The Ordinary Boys. I can't keep up. First, the Ordinary Boys, now this. Right. What we got in the kitchen? Bread, fruit, kettle. Oh, a note. Uh, Ethan, don't give her any sugar or honey and no mushrooms. Oh, for God's sake. Oh. Getting bossed around in note form. Her birthday That's will marriage be for you. They grow up fast. Let's just enjoy it while we can. Right, what's all this? Oh, baby food. By hand, so this stuff keeps piling up. How cheap are they that Mia makes their own baby food? It can't be that. How expensive is baby food? I don't know. I've never looked, but is it that Hurry expensive that you need? To sleep, will you? All right. Jesus Christ. I feel like I'm actually married. God. You know what? We don't need this. I say we hit the road. No more zombies. No more nagging wives. Just the open road. Hey, keep it down. Just making sure it's locked. That didn't. That wasn't even that loud. Once All right, let's get her in the pram. We can go for a walk. Oh no. Okay, maybe not. What's in here? Oh, Rose, you can you can sleep in here rather than me have to walk upstairs to your bedroom. I can't be asked. Right. There, there. It's like I said to your mom. That book's too scary for you. Like, like she can comprehend any kind of... You could put it on and make her watch it and she wouldn't know what the fuck was going on. Right, um, we're going to do a little MTV Cribs thing first, I think. A look here in the bathroom. What we got? Baby's first shower. <laughs> baby's first shave. Ooh, baby's first drugs. Uh, probably best not to give the baby drugs. Um, yeah, you can't anyway. Oh, I like the way that the the mirror, you can't look in the mirror to see Ethan's face. Yeah, you don't give a baby drugs. That's how you end up with a little Keith Richards. Oh, right, here we go. What's this? Your mama and I love this song so much. I don't know why they all love that song so much. It's shit. It's like... Dizzy Rascal. No offence if you like Dizzy Rascal, but... Ooh. Lots of weird art knocking about. But Dizzy Rascal is shit, let's just say that. Ah, uh, here's a familiar yeah, face. I keep this around. I should get rid of it someday. Remember collecting these bastards all around the Baker's house in Resident Evil 7? Fun times. And this is like a little dumping ground room. <coughs> uh, Gotta do a deep clean before Rose starts walking around. For the most part, I'm not. I'm just. I'm not going to read files, but this one I will read. 
Uh, curtain closes on the Dolby gas incident. The committee completed their investigation on the 18th into the Dolby toxic gas leak in Louisiana in 2017. They concluded the deaths were caused by a leak of natural gas that had built up in the Murdoch under the area. So, obviously, you know, talking about Resident Evil 7, that's one to read it. Jack Baker, 57, and his family, who were exposed to the gas, perished. Ethan Winters and his wife were also believed to have been nearby, but their current whereabouts are unknown. The entire area has been closed off by officials who believe it will be at least 10 years before the area is habitable again. Why 10 years? Why does it take so long to clean up that I shit? I forgot about this already. But, yeah, mostly for files, it'll just be, you know, I'll leave them on the screen so you can pause if you want to read. I'm sure most of you have played this game by now anyway, but... Yeah, I'm not going to be read. I just wanted to read that one because obviously it carries on from Resident Evil 7. So, great Almost days. There, uh, okay, more art. Chair. Why is there a chair there? That's a weird place to have a chair. Why would you just randomly sit in a hallway to read a book, perhaps? I don't know. Uh, God. Rose is messy. Why can't you tidy up after herself, you little bastard? Nearly tripped over your ball. What's this? She is going to look a twat wearing that. Hmm. All right. There you go, sweetheart. Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. Okay, we can continue our investigation baby free. So, I think there's only one room to check out. And then we've checked out the whole crib. We've got um, Ethan's laptop. Like I say, pause if you want to read it. Uh, I have a laptop. But I just can't get the damn thing open. Right. What is this? Another document that you can read if you wish to pause. And oh, look at this. Fine. This great sound system we can play the ordinary boys all night rose's favorite toy marvin the spider monkey i don't know if it is a spider monkey uh gun survivalist they, oh. have to really have to get you. um yeah most people will recognize the name kendo well i say most people most resident evil fans should oh a photo album let's take a quick trip down memory lane <laughs> Happy days. I notice we don't have any of the pictures where um, Mia chopped my hand off or any of that shit. No, they didn't make the album, apparently. Apparently they don't warrant, you know, they're not a big life event. Ooh, that day when I had my hand chopped off and then it came back and I had loads of boss fights. No, just the happy memories. Forever. Well, there we go. People still have photos anymore. Why aren't they on the gram? Why aren't they on Insta? <laughs> <laughs> Get with the times, Ethan. Jesus, you, you're still living in 2017. Mind you, Instagram was around then as well, weren't it? I don't know, you're living in the past, man. Get on the gram. Get on the IG. Right, anyway, dinner should have been ready about 10 million years ago, so um, let's get on that bad boy. Is she okay? Sleeping like a... Uh, well, like a baby. Hmm. <laughs> That smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, mister. It's chorba de legum. It's a local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Mm. Local wine, too. But if you're going to keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. <sighs> you really have to stop worrying. <sighs> it's just finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here. Military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You, me, Rose. Now, everything's gonna Seriously, be- Seriously, think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so- <sighs> Mia, get down! Mia! Oh, God! Oh, 
Chris? What the hell? Sorry, Ethan. No! <laughs> what? Why? Go on, move! All clear. Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Package secure, sir. Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. Hey doc. hey, doc. Hello, Mr. Winters. I've got your daughter's results back, and I'd like you to come in to talk about that. How about the next Thursday, 4 o'clock? No, no problem. We'll be there. That was the doc. She'll see us next week. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. I keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look, she's gonna be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan! You matter! You just Mia, what are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Damn it. I have to take this. Where's Chris Redfield? And Rose? Who is this? This is a secure channel. You are not on the ground Fuck. What the hell happened here? You're not authorized to rough her. That's what that guy said. I don't know what that means. Must be some sort of military lingo. Like foobar. <laughs> Alright, what's this? Oh, the phone. It's useless. Excellent. What about this? It's something we can read. Move the two Wintersuses. <laughs> I like that. At least two transport officers to accompany them. Great. And they did a bang-up job, didn't they? Well done, lads. Take a break. You've earned it. Alright. I don't think there's anything back here. No. Alright, let's crack on. Walking in the snow, in the dark. Um, uh, the last few times I've played this, obviously I've had in my Infinity Stake, which is like a Magnum. So I've not had to look for ammo or anything, really. So I am going to be... I've kind of forgot where things are, so we're going to have to be looking, keeping our eye out for stuff. I mean, the last couple of times I've played, I've um, obviously skipped the cutscenes as well. So it's going to be nice just watching all the cutscenes again. And, uh, yeah. Like I say, we're playing on a completely new game, so I won't have my Infinity Weapons or any of my money or anything like that. It's uh, completely from scratch. So, yep, we're on our own once again. Walking in the snow at night. I hate snow. Well, I don't hate snow. I hate driving in snow. It's the worst. Walking in it is fine. Maybe not here, but... Oh, here we go. All right. Why would you do that? You'd use your, your coat, wouldn't you? Yep, big surprise. The first of many hand-related injuries, I'm sure. Ethan's always, like, getting fucking... He has trouble with his hands constantly. 
He's worse than a Star Wars protagonist. Oh, a wheelbarrow. They love their wheelbarrows in Resident Evil games, don't they? Like, in, I remember in Resident Evil 2, there's one in the sewer. They're just wheelbarrows everywhere. Oh, here we go. Trail of uh, blood and dead crows. Means we're going the right way. Yeah, this is good. Dead crows. Strange noises. Oh, they're hanging. This is a nice walk. I'd recommend this. <laughs> Who would do this? What is the point? You've not got anything better to do with your time than uh, hang up. A oh, and that one's... Yeah, of course, that one's alive. God, it's like an annoying alarm clock. Like, I think... I mean, it must be some effort to get a crow, knock it out, tie it to a tree, and then once you've done it, what have you accomplished? Look what I've done. I've tied a crow to a tree. Why? I don't know. <laughs> We've got the Silent Hill fog coming in now, too. Excellent. Excellent Atmos. I do really like the... Oh! There we go. See a little lichen fella running along. I'm liking it a lot. <laughs> I won't make that joke again, I promise. It was bad, even by my standards. Alright, I think we're getting out of this, uh, this walk. Uh, yep, here we go. Uh, nice building where the blood and the dead crows have led us. We'll be safe in here, for sure. I don't think there's anything in here of any use, to be honest. But we'll have a nosy anyway. Lots of pills. And... A rope and a hairbrush. It's like something you find in a drawer in Red Dead Redemption 2, isn't it? Bowl. Dirty sink. Any running water? Oh, look at that toothbrush there. That's pretty immaculate, isn't it? And that soap's pretty clean for a Resident Evil game. But yeah, that toothbrush especially. At least they know they have good dental hygiene here. They might be lichens, but they uh, take good care of their teeth. Oh, and they're into their drugs. Well, they have their cereal and drugs. That's what I have for breakfast as well, to be honest. The only way to start your day. Oh. What the hell was that? Came from the basement. And uh, as we know, nothing ever goes wrong in the, the basement. Probably just someone's man cave. We probably just heard, heard them playing foosball or something. It's definitely a foosball. Why have they got a pallet down here? What the hell? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I've just got a pallet in my basement. What's this? Ooh, very religious. Oh, right. Okay, okay, well, that's a lawsuit. I don't know who owns this place, but I'm suing them. Right, okay, what's in here then? Get out of here, you rat bastard. Right. Oh! Uh, of course. Back upstairs. Right. You know when you open a cupboard like that and a little rat comes out, you're going to turn around and get some sort of jump scare. First time I played, I thought there was going to be an enemy in my face, but... Yeah. Jesus. All sorts of stuff falling over. Furniture now. Completely messing up the feng shui of this place. Right. Hope that toothbrush is still intact. Oh, great. Hope that ain't Chris's blood. <laughs> that was way too predictable. Had to say it. Probably everyone what ever who's done a Let's Play on this has made that joke at that point, so I apologise. Here we go, outside, and uh, all of a sudden it's day. It's a very quick day-night cycle, isn't it? <laughs> it was, like, dark. Like, what, were we in that house for two minutes? Be night again in a minute. It's just, uh, we're on different time now. We're on survival horror time. The days are shorter. The nights are longer. Uh, actually, I think we pretty much play on, uh, like, for the like, light when we're ever outside, so... That's a load of bollocks. Ignore me. Where the Disneyland. We made it. What a view. I do really, really, you know, feel the need to say this right now. I really enjoy this game. I think they've done really well with it. The atmosphere, just the, everything about it. It's brilliant. 
and I'm not easily impressed. Although one time I saw a blue car and I was stunned for days. A blue car? I didn't think such a thing could be done. But hey, it's 2021. Jeez. They could have put some stairs there. Oh god, a horse. I'm a bit of a horse whisperer. Let me see if I can find out what happens. I'll just whisper to him. When the race starts, run really fast. Okay. Nope. <laughs> okay, I don't... I guess my horse whispering days are behind me. It used to work. Right. I don't think... Uh... Ooh, a baby cage. That's what you put newborn babies in. We should take that back for Rose. I'm only joking. Yeah, I don't think that there's any... Oh, okay. Or some dude running around outside doing this, getting his steps in. He's, uh... Liking to keep fit. <laughs> and I made the joke again. Right, we've got a sign over there. Do not enter. Oh, get out of here, you bloody crows. I'll hang you up like the rest of them. The thing is, you'd think the word would have got around uh, amongst the crows that... Oh, don't go to that village. Oh, why is that? Oh, Simon went there. They fucking knocked him out and tied him up and upside down the tree. Why? Simon's an imaginary crow that I made up, by the way. Right, so obviously at this point we're following the music and the decapitated goat's heads. What happened? I guess they just like decorating. It's almost like Christmas every day here. Right. Just follow... Oh, someone's left their light on. That's going to be one hell of an electric bill. Only, there it's not a proper light. Look, it's just a thing with fire. God, they must be Amish. They shun fancy things like electricity. Here we go. Some force could break it. Use the force. Uh, I'd rather use this knife. Okay. What I like about this game is now you can just go up and press X to use the knife. And we've got a first aid mid. Um, whereas before you had to switch to your knife. And I like the fact that now... Even if, even if you've got a gun out, you can just press X and smash an item. So it saves you valuable button pressing time. Right, what's through here? No, no! Friendly! Friendly! Who are you? Who sent you? Nobody. There was an accident down on the road and... What's going on? Oh no. They're coming. Who is? What the hell was that? Do you have a gun? What? Please tell me you have a gun. No, why would I? Take it! Take it! more if you're gonna store corpses I guess the underground basement is a good place as any I like that guy's jacket reckon we can nick it about this guy's jacket can I borrow your jacket mate you won't mind Jesus Christ I don't think it's Jesus Jesus has a beard and what would he be doing in a basement for the corpses what the hell is it's not his scene Oh, more. That looks like the same guy with the same jacket. Oh, hello.
Alright, our first bit of combat. And I'm using a gun. Oh shit. Oh god, that's embarrassing. I say I'm using a gun that uh, doesn't one shot them, which hasn't been the case in a while, so. <laughs> uh, oh god's sake, you're making me look bad. To actually to tell a lie, I've had to use this pistol on mercenaries. I have to play the mercenaries mode, so. Should be on point. They don't look like it. Oh, come on. There we go. Not too bad. Eight what bullets left. I don't know whether that's good or not. Um, I can't remember. But, yeah. So, we want to get out here. But all we have is a family photo. <laughs> and it's bolted, so uh, it needs some kind of other item. I don't care how sharp the photo's edges are. They won't get through that padlock. Luckily, our good friend has bolt cutters, because he's prepared for everything. He's played a Resident Evil game before. So does Ethan. you think Ethan would be more prepared. Carry bolt cutters everywhere, but there you go. We'll let him off because, you know, he didn't know he was going to be here. But, yeah, that's going to be about it for this first part, guys. Um, hope you guys are enjoying it. I won't leave you waiting too long for the next part. In fact, I'll record it right now. Uh, yeah, hope you guys are enjoying it, and I will see you in the next part. Cheers, guys.